Hi guys and welcome back to Rags to Riches, I'm Lauren and today's video is me buying stock from China. Um, I have been wanting to do this for quite a while. Um, I recently read an article online of a young entrepreneur, I think he might have been 25 or a little bit younger than me, I'm not quite sure. Um, he started off a business in his bedroom of buying and reselling and he, then he started buying things from China and basically is nearly a billion not a billionaire a millionaire nearly a millionaire um and he's got like three different warehouses that he sells from um i think he has an online business ebay business and he sends things to amazon fba so yeah that's a mouthful that's an introduction so i thought why can't i do that nope stopping me <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and find some things, um, I don't know when this video is going out, so today is 3rd of February, I might get smaller and smaller, the dog is asleep, so yeah, um, I'm going to try that out, uh, I'm going to try and spend less than, I want to spend about £20, but if I have to spend more, I don't want to spend any more than £50, um, because this is a trial and error thing. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to sell yet. I have an idea but I don't know yet. I'm not going to say anything because I don't know what I'm going to find. I haven't been on the internet yet to have a look. So fingers crossed we might have a new and exciting thing, revenue, income coming in. Who knows? Why not? But yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So guys, and it's a mess in the background from doing videos. Um, I have found a website. I think I've heard some eBay resellers and FBA sellers talk about this before. This particular website. I'm not going to say it because I'm not quite sure yet. So anyway, I've messaged two of the suppliers um, on there, um, asking for, about their stock uh, and prices, etc. So. Basically, it's like China, I think. China or India, somewhere like that. Um, yeah, so basically, it's nearly 10 o'clock here, and that means it's 6 a.m. there. So, obviously, not the greatest time to message, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, this is a learning curve, as we all know. Um, so, yeah, I will probably get back to you tomorrow when I have a response um so I'll kind of tell you what I've picked out before I end this clip um so first one is um a case for you know like the airpods the the ear the headphones that are wireless the little apple airpod things so it's a case for that um, and then uh, the other one is uh, wedding um, wedding tablecloths. Um, the reason why I picked that is totally random. Well, both of them are extremely random. The AirPod case, it came up as like on the homepage. And I thought that looks really nice. I wouldn't mind that for myself. So that, that's the reason for that one. And then the second reason is because I recently just spent about... 150 quid or 160 quid on tablecloths um from ebay so i just thought why not look into reselling them and they don't actually take that much space up so neither do the airpods to be honest so yeah that is the reason so i'll let you know the response as soon as i get a response <laughs> all right Okay guys, so the people didn't message me back, um, today is the, ah, it's actually Valentine's Day today, <laughs> should remember that, um, yeah, so they haven't messaged me back, so I've decided to go on Wish, which I have ordered things on there before, and I have ordered like these, they're like wedding favours, um, they're like little suitcases, um, and I'm going to be selling them as what am I going to be selling them as? I can't remember. Um, you know, like elf on the shelf type of thing. So, yeah. 
fingers crossed with that. And then I've ordered some earrings off some some website called madeinchina.com, which I've never used before, but there was loads of good reviews on my Play Store app thing, so I thought it must be legit. So I've ordered some earrings on there, about 10 of them, and I think... I think the profit on it was about 35 quid, like, for the whole 10, if I sold them at 4 99 each. So I'm just waiting for them to come, and then I can put them online. So hopefully they'll be here soon. You know what it's like from China. I'm just hoping I don't get coronavirus from all this stuff coming from China. But yeah, we'll see. Okay, this video is just not going the way I expected it to go at all. Today is Saturday the 14th of March. And it is pretty much just all, you know, like Corona, everything, everyone's stockpiling and the shops are empty. Now, like it started with toilet roll and then it was hand sanitizer and hand wash. It's like, congratulations, this is the year that everyone learns to wash their hands. <laughs> um, And then it was paracetamol, bleach. I'm just going off like my local Asda. Um, pasta, rice, and then it went to bread, and then it went to tinned goods. It's crazy. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I have stockpiled, but I literally I didn't take the entire shelf. I probably spent about I think it was forty quid. I got some bleach. I got three packets of baby wipes because there were no toilet roll. We have toilet roll, but in case it went on to lockdown, I've got baby wipes. I'm not gonna flush them. I'm gonna be really gross and have a bin next to the toilet because oh I just don't know what we're going to do if we don't get any toilet roll but yeah I actually do need hand soap <laughs> you could have lied no, there's none there isn't any but I have a bar of soap but there's like a tiny little bit left and then yeah so it's just crazy but yeah my parcel hasn't well both of my parcels haven't arrived from China, from the Wish, and from the wholesale app. Uh, I did have a look at the tracking on the wholesale app, and it's all in a language that I don't even speak, and I can't even copy and paste it to see where it is. Um, but I'm guessing then people are not working and they're in quarantine, so I totally understand. But obviously, things went things take ages anyway to come from China and I just feel like I did this at the beginning of February I feel like that it it should be here maybe after a month but oh and I think I did pay postage I paid postage on both I think so I just I don't know I'm not scared of corona because I feel like if me and my partner got it we would be fine, like, there's nothing wrong with us, the only thing is, is, like, I'm a smoker, but, like, I've got some, like, nicotine patches and stuff when I've, like, tried to quit before in the cupboard, so, like, if we get quarantined, I'm fine, um, I'm not a heavy smoker anyway, um, it's just crazy, like, it's affecting businesses, like, I'm, I'm a tiny business, I'm tiny, like, I'm, like, a starting up business, and even I'm getting affected, so God knows what's going to happen. Um, because this video, let's just see when this video is going up, because obviously I do like so many videos all at once. I don't know where I am, ever. Okay, so this video goes out on the 22nd of May. Um, yeah, I hopefully it comes before then. I hope, I hope it does. But... Where, I just don't know where we're going to be. People are still buying on eBay. Not a lot. But they are still buying on eBay. But I'm only, like I say, I'm only a tiny business. Teeny tiny. It's just, I don't even know. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it here and then probably update you. And see where it goes. I just don't. Hi guys, so now we are officially like on quarantine and I'm not going to put makeup on because I'm trying to get rid of these spots because like last week these spots were just horrendous. I looked like a meth addict. <laughs> so yeah, 
So on Monday, so today is Friday, and on Monday they announced that I think it was like half eight, something like that, that everything would be on lockdown. And on the Tuesday, my package from China came. So uh, these are the the earrings that I got. So I'm not actually going to take them out of the packages because of like Corona. So I don't even know if I can show you them. It's going to be like really awkward. This is so awkward. I'm just going to check that there's actually 10 in each packet. So I've got 10 earrings. All the same. I can't, you can't really see. I'll put a picture up. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's definitely ten. I'm really, really happy with them that they actually came. So I'm very, very excited. The other package that I got, which was from Wish, um, yeah, they are just like tiny little suitcase pieces of paper card. Um, kind of like maybe used for wedding favours. But I was going to use them for Christmas time for um, Elf on the Shelf type of thing. Because it's like people sell them like as props and stuff. I think only one person sold them as props. So that is what I'm going to do. I don't know how many I ordered for them. Maybe about 50. Um, but they haven't come yet. So I'm just going to leave this video here. And sales have been horrendous. Like leading up to even lockdown. It's just been crazy. Everyone's just been panic buying etc etc so i have my little bag with some chinese writing on it cute <laughs> so yeah i'm i'm just happy they have come so that i could finish this video for you guys but yeah it's just stay safe out there i know this video is like goes out in may but still stay safe hopefully we're back at work in may hopefully who knows but yeah so don't forget to subscribe guys, um, there will be a follow up to this buying stock from China to see how well I did and if I want to redo it again. Um, the idea behind this was to try and find different sourcing options other than like car boots and charity shops and auctions. Um, this year I did actually start going to auctions and I really 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 enjoyed it. Um, we will be carrying that in the, on the future, um, but yeah. Watch this space. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and you can follow me on Instagram. Um, I always answer all your messages. Um, you can comment below. I, if I see it, then I will type back to you. And yeah, I hope you have a great day, and I hope you have some great sales. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.